Today I'm going to show you how to reverse sear a ribeye on the Flavor Pro. I've already got my charcoal going, but I'm going to add some wood chunks to the flavor drawer. So we are going to open the drawer. And I picked wood chunks because they, they last longer than wood chips. So this is going to take about an hour to do the smoke on the steak. So we're going to take the wood and we're going to lay them right here. Now that we put the chunks in the flavor drawer, we're going to go ahead and shut the lid and turn off all of the burners. And then you want to wear a glove for this. You want to open up the smokestack on the top. That way the smoke goes through the chamber and around the meat. So you're going to twist this open. That way smoke's moving around. So while the smoke gets going in that, we're going to go ahead and season our steaks. Char griller steak seasoning, always a must. And I like to liberally put seasoning on my steaks. All right, now that we have our steaks nice and seasoned with the char griller steak rub, we're gonna put them on the Flavor Pro. So what you wanna do on the inside here, when you open up the lid, you're gonna see that we have our smoke happening on one side and then we have our indirect heat on the opposite side of the charcoal and the wood. So we're gonna place our steaks on that side. And then we're gonna let these go for about an hour. I'm probably gonna put some sausage and potatoes and corn and stuff in there while those are smoking. So that way we can have some sides. So in about an hour, we're gonna take them off and then we're gonna sear them. Okay, it's been about an hour. So let's check on the steaks and see how they're doing and see if we're ready to do that sear. Now those look pretty good. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the potatoes off the direct heat so we can start our sear process. All right, let's see what we got here. What you wanna do is you wanna sear these for about three minutes on each side. That way you get those really good sear marks. That looks great. What I like to do is put, put some butter on the top of them, let that butter melt on there. I can't wait to try these steaks. We just took them off the reverse sear. So we're gonna cut into it and see how we did. Looks pretty good to me. That's good. The butter, the rub, reverse sear, I'm telling you, you gotta do it. Go to chargriller.com for more recipes, tips, and tricks, and don't forget to follow us on social media.